Hi, and welcome to Steam Powered Family. Today we're making eco gliders or cup gliders that are going to demonstrate the Magnus effect. This is a quick and easy activity that you can do at summer camp, in the schoolyard, or in the backyard with your kids this summer. So first we're going to gather up our supplies. All you need is a couple of cups, some glue, tape, and rubber bands. You can use different types of rubber bands and different types of cups so that you can test the different styles and see which one you think works the best. We're going to take our cups and we're going to apply some glue on the bottom of one and then we're going to stack the other one on top. Now you want them bottom to bottom so the open ends are facing out when you glue them together. So make sure that they're glued nice and tight and secure. Make sure that edge is really clean and smooth and then let it dry. Once it's dry we're going to apply some masking tape around that seam and make sure the masking tape is nice and smooth. You want to try and avoid any wrinkles because that's going to cause resistance and we want to keep this really nice and smooth. So there we go, that's our cups assembled. Now we're going to assemble our rubber bands. So you're just going to take the rubber bands and we're going to loop them together. So you start underneath, pull it over top, and then push it back underneath, and then pull so they knot. And then we're going to continue with this, making a little chain of rubber bands, and we're going to need three for rubber bands of this size. You can add more or less and play with it and see what works best for you. But I also re recommend doing this with different types of cups and different types of rubber bands so you can test which one works the best. So there we go. That's our cup and rubber bands ready to go. And there's some other rubber band types. And you'll see in a second here, we'll show you some other cup types that we used. Now to launch these, you're going to take it like that, hold it with your thumb and just wrap it around a couple of times and then take it outside and launch it. Don't do this indoors. It goes far and it kind of gets a little wild. So there's our cups all ready to go. And now we're going to take it outside, wind it up, and then let it go. See how it changed directions and didn't fly direct? That's the Magnus effect. So the Magnus effect is when a spinning object moves through the air and curves off of the path that we expect. It happens because of the difference in air pressure. In this project, we're exploring rotational motion, flight, plus lift, and other physics concepts. If you want more fun science experiments, visit steampartfamily.com. Bye for now.